Today in our 2014 Ford F-250, we will be installing the Kurt Custom 5th Wheel Installation Kit, part number C16424-204. Alright, so here's what our rails look like once they've been installed. As you can see, it hardly takes up any space over our bed. Our bed is still very usable. They don't stick up an excessive amount from the bottom of our bed. It's a nice clean installation, a very durable power coat finish on them. They'll give us many years of service. We'll be able to attach multiple different devices to them, such as fifth wheels, gooseneck adapter plates, and any other thing that utilizes fifth wheel rails. Here's what our installation kit comes with. We have our fifth wheel rails, our frame brackets, and all of our installation hardware we need, including one fish wire, and then there's a bracket to relocate a sensor underneath the vehicle. We may or may not need this part. We'll begin our installation by placing our front rail in the bed of our truck at the prescribed distance found in the instructions, and then we'll center it along our weld seam. Right here on the weld seam, we're an eighth of an inch short of three inches. So it's the same here, so we know we have it in our bed square. Compare that measurement to the measurement on the other side. Eighth of an inch short of three and an eighth of an inch short of three. So now we know we have our rail in the proper position. Now our rear outer hole on our front rail, we need to mark and center punch it. We'll do the same on both locations. All right, now on the driver's side of our vehicle, we'll hold our driver's side frame bracket in position and making sure the hole we center punch lines up. So you can see we have a bracket in place. There's where our center punch is, so it lines up about right in the middle, so we're perfect there. We'll double check on the other side real quick. Now we'll drill a pilot hole where we made our indentions in the bed using the punch. Now we'll use our step bit and we'll drill out our holes to a 9 16 We'll repeat the same process on the other side. All right, we're gonna hold our driver's side frame rail in place. And from underneath the vehicle, we will install our hardware to hold it into position. Now we have the bolt installed on the spacer. We will go right in this hole here. We'll install the bolt through. Like so. Come on the other side and we'll place our nut on to hold the bracket in place. We'll do the same as we did for the other bolt right here in this lower forward hole right here. Okay, place your nut on. All right, we'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. Okay, with our frame rails attached now, we'll drop down our carriage bolts for our front rail. All right, so with our front rail in position and our two carriage bolts dropped down, we sat our unassembled fifth wheel into position over the front rail. So we have the location to line our rear rail up into position now. So we'll get our rear rail slid as close as possible, lift up on our slider, Now we'll take one of our U-shaped spacers and we'll install it between our bed corrugation and our frame bracket wrapping around the bolt that we dropped down. You may need to twist it in position with a pry bar. With our fifth wheel attached to our front and our rear rails, we can now drill out our holes for our rear rail. We're gonna be using the outermost hole on both sections of the rail. Drill our pilot hole first. Now with all of our outside holes drilled, we'll drill our pilot hole for our rear rail back position closest to the tailgate center hole. We'll 
We'll do the center hole on the back section of our front rail. And then we'll finish drilling pilot holes for our front rail on the remaining outer holes. Now we'll enlarge all of our holes to the final size. All right, with all of our holes enlarged, we'll drop down our remaining bolts. All right, with all 10 of our bolts now dropped down from up top, we can go underneath and install the rest of our hardware. Now we wanna make sure we put our U-space spacers in where our bed is raised in the corrugation. You'll have these on all the outside bolt holes. So you just slide it in position like that. Then you have your other's plate here and then your nut. So we'll do these on all of the bolts on the outside edge attaching to our bracket. Some of these you may need to push the bolts up in order to slide the spacer on through and then drop the bolt on back down. Okay, so we have all of our spacers inside our raised channel of our bed. We'll put these blocks on again. And the nut. For the middle bolts in our bed, push up, slide our U-shaped spacer in. We have our last U-shaped spacers in place now. And these are in place so when we tighten down the bolts in our bed, it will keep the bed from crushing. We'll place this block on. And then our nut. And we'll do the same on the rear rail. This is the front rail we're doing right now. Now we'll take our large bolt and this spacer Drop the bolt on down through it, and we'll install this through our vehicle frame and into our side frame brackets. Okay, so right above our bump stop here, there's this large hole in the frame, and the bolt will go through there. Just like that. We'll install our nut onto it. And we'll repeat the same process for the other side. All right, now we can snug down all of our fasteners. Okay, with all of our hardware snugged up, we'll tighten all the bolts to the specifications found in the instructions, starting with our smaller ones first. Then we'll finish off with our big ones. Our big bolts get a much higher mount than our smaller bolts, so just keep that in mind. And once we get all of our bolts tightened down to their specifications, that will complete our installation of the Kurt Custom 5th Wheel Installation Kit. Part number C16424-204 on our 2014 Ford F250. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.